Hi and welcome back to my banana hair. <laughs> I'm just kind of addicted to bleaching my hair. Um, as you can tell. I use this really weird cheap lipstick today and it's like glue on my lips. Really uncomfortable and it doesn't look that great. I do look like a horse. But here we go. So. One of my most asked questions is how I normally tone my hair to that white slash grey colour and I thought I would show you guys. So today's video is about how I tone this banana piss yellow mess into a nice cool white or grey colour. So yeah. Fun. So this is my hair right now. As you can see I have a bit of a peachy like orange band on the middle. So the reason for that is when I was dyeing my hair to that mousy blonde colour that used to be my roots. This part and I used to only bleach my roots once with 20 volume and then put a demi permanent color on top to bring it down to a level 7 so that's why that's there I could bleach it again just there if I wanted to have it like really really even but I'm just not that fussed about it. I feel like if I tone it with the things that I used to tone my hair before, then it's just gonna it's just gonna cancel it out because we are going to tone my hair today with the Fanola No Yellow Shampoo and this London Shades Conditioning Hair Toner. If you wonder how it turned out or how should you apply something like this? Then keep on watching!
been a week since the last clip that you seen just a minute ago. That's why my hair is in this like Teletubby pony, no, bun, hair bun thing because I haven't washed my hair. To give you guys a full review of the actual colour it looked like after the toning session. So I wanted you to be able to see it without me compromising the colour with washing my hair. Definitely that's the reason, not that I'm a lazy f <laughs> So, And my makeup is crumbling down. Oh well. Let go of this greasy beast that is my hair. Yeah, so I've been wearing it up like that for the last three days. But here's the colour. Wait, I should I should be a bit more professional. I'm gonna go and brush it out. So I know it looks really bad right now. But you're not looking at the style, you're looking at the colour, okay? Since you last seen me with that blonde hair, I got some more layers in my hair. I got my bangs back to being like the straight long bangs that I like. I should probably go back with the purple shampoo to go over these yellow bits. That didn't really take the colour that much. But in conclusion, I would definitely recommend the Fanola purple shampoo for all of you guys even if you don't want your hair to be this extreme like purple color that I have right now it's gonna fade so <sighs> I'm out of breath <sighs> it's almost the exact same consistency that that semi-permanent hair dye was and it's almost the exact same color I just think that purple shampoo is way more pigmented so if you can get hold of it and you have Amazon where you live or something I would totally recommend you purchasing that and if your only option is that semi-permanent color that I did show you guys because I know you can buy that in almost every single drugstore or Sainsbury's or wherever then that's a pretty good option as well it's just you really need your hair to be really light for that to work while the purple shampoo will work in like a darker level. Should put it put it in a style, shouldn't I? <laughs> there, I'm beautiful again. <laughs> that would be my little video about how I normally tone my hair what I normally use and yeah I hope you liked it and you have a great day <laughs> see you later